All right, hello, second and third grade student scholars. So we're going to be trying to make a collage very similar to what we made last week. Uh, this time we're going to be trying to cut from more sides, which is a little more challenging, but I think we can do this. I'm going to explain this hopefully in a way that everyone is going to understand. Now looking down here, this is what we're going to need for this project. You're going to need two sheets of construction paper, different colors. You're going to need glue and you're going to need scissors. Don't forget something to draw with. I would actually recommend you use a pencil. I'm going to use a crayon because I want you to be able to see what I'm doing. But for you, I would definitely use a pencil. Now, of these two colors, one of them is going to be the background and one is going to be the one that we're going to be cutting. The one that's going to be the background, you're just going to write your name on it. So I'm going to write down Mr. De La Garza and I'm going to leave this alone for a second. The other one, the one that we're going to cut out, the first thing you need to do is fold it in half. So I'm going to go ahead and fold this in half and then cut it in half because we're only going to use half of this paper. So here I am just cutting it down here. I'll save this one for later, and this is the one that I'm going to be using right now. Now, the simplest way to think about this is, you know that we're going to put this paper on here, and just like last time, you're going to draw something here in the middle that's going to reflect over here. So if I was going to draw a heart, I would make half a heart here. If I was going to do a circle, half a circle. The difference is, we're not just going to cut something out of this edge, out of this one axis here. Instead, you're going to cut something out of every single side. So you're going to ultimately make four cuts. And today, we're going to think about space. We want to cut as deep in here as possible. So the first thing I'm going to start with is something fairly simple. Let's go ahead and make just a heart. So let's go ahead and make my half a heart right there. That was pretty simple, and it's fairly deep. Down here, I'm going to make some other kind of a shape. I could also make half a heart. I could make any kind of uh, design that I want to. But whatever I draw, Whatever I draw, it cannot touch this drawing right here. I have to leave that alone. So up here, I think I'm going to draw maybe something that comes, uh, oh, I don't know. How about something that goes up like this and then down like that? So I've just basically removed that piece. But as I said, this is not touching this. Now I have to draw something over here on this side. So over here, I think I'll make, oh, I don't know. I can make a half circle. I can make a square. I think I like this curve. I'm going to draw another little curve here. I don't want it to go around the heart, so I think I'll draw a little shape here, and then I'll come back to the beginning like so. And then finally, I have to draw something up here at the top. So I think I'll make like a, another little curve here, and then I'll make a little curve here. It doesn't matter if you go off over here. It only matters that these things are not touching any of these other lines. None of these black lines are touching here. Now that I've done this, I've basically made four things top, bottom, right, left. And it's a pretty cool looking little design here. Now, I'm gonna take my scissors and I'm gonna cut everything out. So now that I've cut all these pieces, I'm not left with very much left. But this actually is the piece that I started with. This is what I had at the very beginning. This is my rectangle. I just cut everything out of it. So I'm gonna take all these pieces out of the way and I'm gonna put my rectangle back over here. That I believe is where it goes right there. That's where my rectangle goes. Now, I'm gonna leave this piece alone. I'm not gonna glue it, I'm not gonna do anything with it. I'm just gonna put it right here on the edge. Now, I'm gonna treat this like a puzzle. I'm gonna put all these little pieces back so I can make my rectangle again. So that's gonna go there, this goes here, this piece is gonna go here, and finally, this piece is gonna go right here. Now, that's not enough. I have to glue every single one of those pieces back. Not the background piece, not the one that I started with. The first one that I put down there, I'm going to leave it alone. But all of these other pieces, I am going to glue. So I'm going to take my glue, and I'm going to use the dot, dot, not a lot method. Dot, dot, dot. I'm going to rub this around like so, and I'm going to glue it down right here. Same thing over here. Let's grab this right here. And I'm going to go dot, dot, not a lot, and then I'm going to rub it. Now, I'm not going to make you watch me do all of these. I'm just going to go ahead and do these two, and then I'll do the other ones a little faster. If some glue comes off here, don't worry about it. Just pick it up, get it out of the way, and keep going. Okay, so I've glued all these little pieces back on here. This one I did not. The original piece, I'm taking it out now. And when I take it out, you're going to notice that I still have a design here. This piece here is now going to be reflected 
reflected on the other side. Reflected means that I don't move it like this. That's not, a, I mean, it's an interesting design, but it's not what I wanted. What I want is I want this to look exactly the same over here. So I'm going to treat it like a page of a book and I'm going to flip it over. Now I can see that this image is reflected. What I see on this side is exactly the same over here. This one is positive. That one is negative. Positive, negative, positive, negative, negative, positive. So all I have to do now is just glue this here. A lot of kids accidentally glue the wrong side up. So please make sure that you're being very careful. You don't want to make a mistake like that, especially here at the very, very end. All right, now let me put this down. You want to be very careful to make sure that this line right here stays intact. I don't want this to be way over here too far away. I don't want this on top. I want these to be just touching right here at those corners. If it's hard for you to push this down without moving the paper around, just flip it over like this and push it this way. It's a lot easier way to rub this and put some pressure on it without moving your little pieces around. And so there I go. And this one is pretty much down, done. Now I'm gonna show you one more just real quick to show you how to put a shape or a stencil inside the middle. So now I'm back where I started where I about one background piece and I got this red piece over here. If you'd like to, you don't have to necessarily cut out of these sides here. I can always take this, fold it like I did last time, and I can make something here in the middle. Uh, it could be a heart, triangle, pretty much whatever you want to make it. I think for this one, I'll make something like, oh, I don't know. How about we do a nice little diamond? So just a little triangle there. And I'm doing this where the paper folds so that when I cut this out, it's going to look like a hole, which is what I want. So there. And there we go. This piece still works, and I'm still going to use it the same as everything else. Now, if I want to, I can take my crayon. I can cut out more shapes over here, which I'll do very, very quickly. So I just drew these right here. Now I'm going to take my scissors and I'm going to cut them out. And now I'm going to do everything that I did the first time. Put this right here, glue all my little pieces right here, glue all my little pieces right here, glue this little piece right here. And after everything is glued, I'll pick up the background paper and I'll reflect it over here on this side. I guess this one is a little harder to do, but you can see it still looks pretty cool. So whichever one you pick, I hope you're successful with. So go ahead and grab your paper and start cutting.